Beakers Trust is thrilled to be working with HSBC UK to scale our flagship programme, the Speak Out Challenge, up across the West Midlands. The Speak Out Challenge is all about giving young people the skills, confidence and platform to be heard. The world is changing quite significantly and what the, the challenge does in allowing young people to speak out is it also allows them to use their voice for, for change. The programme begins with an in-school workshop led by expert trainers and that takes students in a really structured way through a step-by-step -step programme where they build up over the course of the day until they're giving up to a three-minute speech without notes on a subject they've chosen. The programme is supported by HSBC UK volunteers and these are skilled volunteers who are adding an extra element to what our trainers deliver. So they are giving the young people real-world role models um, and a connection into the world of work so that young people can start to see the options that are available to them after school. I was prepared for my volunteering by a workshop that I'd done uh, within my company. You can't be there asking people to speak out if you're not prepared to do it yourself. Um, so that really did get me ready for the, the whole day. But again, my experience topped that when I actually done the day as well. If you are a teacher thinking about taking part in the Speak Out Challenge, 100% go for it. Uh, it's made such a huge impact on our students um, in a really short space of time. After the workshop, schools are invited to host an assembly final. This is vitally important because it gives the young people an opportunity to speak out in front of their peers, in front of a larger audience, and so to build their confidence but also for the rest of their school to hear what they have to say. And so they start to appreciate that their opinion really matters. So for me and, and HSBC, the kinds of skills future leaders need are um, the ability to, to speak, but more importantly, to listen. Consider all past arguments, like women voting, my experience speaking in front of everyone in the assembly was really crazy and I didn't think that I could be able to do that. I was able to speak my mind and get my point across which is absolutely amazing and I totally would do it again. And the assembly final is really inspirational I think. Um, we've had so many students in younger years saying, when are you doing this with us? The next stage is a regional final. This is a high profile inter-school competition where young people's voices are heard by an audience of family, friends and an influential panel of judges from the local community. These are leaders from the worlds of business, media, arts and civic life. So it's really an opportunity for young people to have their voices heard and to start to influence change in their communities. The qualities that I'm going to be looking for this evening are uh, someone who's able to engage with the audience, someone who has uh, impact and is able to drive a message and, and, and really resonate with the audience. Getting my voice heard throughout my career has been a, a key part of being able to lead change. I thought it was a really, really great night. The standard was so high and I thought everybody really stood and gave their best. Fabulous evening, really good. Speaker challenge is everything for me because I wasn't confident enough to present myself and now I'm confident enough to talk about my thoughts, I, I can talk to everyone. Speakers chosen by judges at the regional final go on to the West Midlands Grand Final. This is an opportunity to speak out on a professional stage and to be heard by an audience of hundreds. It's the culmination of a programme that has trained thousands of students across hundreds of workshops in tens of schools, all to find one winner. To all of tonight's contestants, we wish the very best of luck.